Hi guys! Okay, today what we're going to do is we are going to talk a little bit more about classification and your homework for tonight is to pick out somewhere between um, 8 and 12 objects. Okay, so right now what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to find between 8 and 12 like objects, similar objects. As you can see, you know, Mrs. Stegman loves pens, so I picked out um, some pens to use in my classification activity. So right now I want you to pause the video and I want you to find between 8 and 12 of different, some objects in your home, but they are kind of similar to each other maybe. And so pause the video right now and I'll see you here in a second. So go gather those objects and bring them back. Okay, now if you're back, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a dichotomous key for the items that you collected. So as you guys can see, I've got my pens here, all right, I have a wide selection of them. I have some that are just pretty plain, and then I have some that are more fancy, and they have different characteristics for each one of them, all right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to classify these pens based on characteristics of them, and I'm going to separate them in a dichotomous key. All right, so what you're going to do first is you're going to get a piece of paper to create your dichotomous key. So if you haven't done that, grab a piece of paper too. Next thing you need to do is I'm going to give it my heading because all my objects are pins. So I'm going to create a heading called pins. And what I need to do is first take all my objects and put them into two separate categories. If you remember with our activity with our shoes, we separated them into two categories first. And so what I'm going to do first is I notice that some of my pens have a cap, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. Those pens have a cap, whereas these do not over on this side. And so I'm going to first sort out my pens according to cap, and no cap. Alright, so now what I want you guys to do is take your items and figure out a way that you can put them into two separate categories and then start creating your dichotomous key to look like this. Okay, now if you put your pens or you put your items into two separate categories, now I want you to just look at one of the categories. So I'm going to take all my capped pens and I want to figure out how I can separate them into two groups. Um, so I notice, I know that these type pens that I love to use, they actually have a marker tip, whereas these don't. And so what I'm going to do is I've made two separate categories. I've got one category with marker tips, the other side that do not. So all my capped pens, I'm going to have a marker tip. and non-marker tip. Okay, well since in this category with my marker tip, I only have one in it. So my pen, it's a Paper Mate Flare pen. You can see the name of it on there right now, Paper Mate Flare. So I'm going to name it. So this part of my dichotomous key is finished, Paper Mate. flare. Best pen ever. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, now for my non-marker tips, I have these three that are left in the capped pen category here. I have three that are non-marker tip. And so I want to sort them out, okay? I notice that I have two of them here that have see-through barrels, but this one doesn't. Okay, see the, both of these I can kind of see through the barrels. So I'm going to divide these up into two categories where I have a clear barrel and a, let's, we can just say not a clear barrel. Okay, so for my not a clear par barrel, this is the only one that I have. These two are clear. So this one I've identified. It is called Papermate. 
good old paper mate. Okay, and so that pen is sorted, so I'm gonna set it aside. Now I'm only down with two. So I need to look at my clear barrel ones and decide how I can divide those into two groups. Okay, and so one of the things I know is these awesome pens, they have sparkle ink. And so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna de I decided that I'm gonna sort these out into sparkle ink and non-sparkle ink. So here we got sparkle, ink, and non-sparkle. So there's my two groups again. But now, since I've placed them into two categories, I've got my sparkle ink here, I've got my non-sparkle ink here. So my sparkle ink, it's called the Right Dudes. That's the name of the brand of the pen. The Right Dudes. That's a pretty cool name. And the name of this one is Paper Mate Ink Joy. And now that I have named these pens on my dichotomous key, I'm just gonna set those aside. So if you've noticed, I've taken all of my capped pencils, or pens, I'm sorry, and I've named them all on this side of my dichotomous key. So this side is done. All my capped pens are now finished. So I'm gonna set them aside. Now you're gonna work with your other category. Remember at the very beginning when we divided up all of our objects into two categories? Now pull up all the, uh, those objects from this category. Okay, and so we're going to sort them out now. So here were all my objects from the no cap category. So now I'm going to figure out how I can divide these guys into two separate groups. All right, if you look at them, I have one pen that's kind of a stubby pen. It's a very short pen. Okay, so I'm going to put them into two categories like this where I have a small size and I have regular size pens. Okay. So let me push those guys to the side a little bit. And we're going to start our two categories now. Okay, so I've got small size. And regular size. Okay, for my small size pen, there was only one of them, right? That was this guy here for my small size pen. So I'm gonna look at the name of it. It's called Profile, Paper Mate Profile. Okay, and since I've named that one, I've used, I've used an arrow to show it has its name. I'm gonna set it aside, it's in my done pile. Now I'm gonna go to all my regular size. These were all the ones that were regular size objects and I'm going to decide how I can sort them into two categories. Um, if you're looking closely you can tell that this is a mechanical pencil and I love these mechanical pencils. Um, and so I only have one mechanical pencil but these are all pens. And so for my mechanical pencil obviously it doesn't have ink. So I can say okay I've got some with ink and I've got some with lead or one with lead. Since I only have one with lead, I'm gonna go ahead and name it because it's finished. It's called the Pentel IC. Pretty cool name. Cool, get it? Haha. -ha. Okay, and now I'm gonna go with my last three, my ink pens. So I'm gonna look at how I can look at these separately in two separate groups. Okay, so my ink pens, Let's put them in two groups. I made my little bracket there. All right, so what makes them look different from each other? Well, I know you can't tell this at home, but I can tell it because I'm very familiar with these pens. This pen has gel ink, whereas these guys have regular ink. And so that's how I'm gonna sort these pens. So I'm going to do gel ink and regular ink. Okay, for my gel ink, since I only have one, it has a name, Bic. And it has some number, 537RT. 
Okay, so there's there's my gel ink pen, and it's been categorized, it's done, so I'm gonna put it in my done pile. Now I'm down with these last two, and so I'm gonna figure out how I can take my regular ink pens and sort them into two categories. So I notice here my purple one has a clear barrel, but this one here does not. Okay, so I could do a clear barrel. and a solid barrel, or I could say a non-clear. Well, my clear barrel has a name. It is the Z-Grip. And my solid barrel, this one is called a Flex Grip. It's kinda hard to see that one's name. Okay, so now I've taken care of categorizing every single one of these pens. All right, here were all the pens that I started off with. And as I look at my graphic organizer here, my, my dichotomous key, you guys should be able to see that at the bottom here, here's a pen, here's a pen, here's a pen, here's one, here's one, here's one, there, there, and there. So the number of, number of arrows that I have should tell me how many pen, pens I have in my entire collection. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pens. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pens. Okay? And so I know that I've done that correctly now. So your only goal for tonight is just to take between 8 and 12 objects from home. If you want to use pens, you can. Um, but to choose 8 and 12 objects from home and create your dichotomous key similar to the one that I've done. But notice there's always two choices. Two choices, two choices, two choices. Everywhere you look on your dichotomous key, there's always two choices. Okay, so anytime that you've made a group, the only way that you can continue with your dichotomous key is to make another set of two choices, okay? And so that's something to remember as you're working. All right, good luck and have a good night. Bye.